right, guys. Uh, welcome to another whiskey review. Tonight, today, I have my boy Nick. Nick is a very good friend, and he is here with me to embark on an adventure to try a very nice, a very sexy whiskey. So what we got here is uh, Glen Mer Morangi. Morangi. Uh, I didn't choose his whiskey, so nobody yelled at me. Even though y'all don't watch this, he, <laughs> he chose this. So uh, explain a little bit, Nick, what the fuck this is. So <clears throat> I don't know anything about it, but it was <laughs> recommended to me by a buddy named Tyler Wild, who has the biggest whiskey collection, scotch collection that I've ever seen in my Shout entire out to life. Tyler. So yeah, his words better to take than the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's, we're both shitty whiskey reviewers. But he said under eighty dollars. Under seventy dollars, this is the the best option that you'll get. And how much did you get it for? Fifty-two. Fifty-two dollars. Very nice. Now he did say that that was a steal. So if you see it at the store for maybe around sixty-five, he still says that that is completely worth it. Yeah. Don't, don't yell at us if you go to the store. It's like a hundred bucks. We got the deals of the year, and we're gonna unbox this right now. It's gonna be tough as shit. It is time for today's whiskey review. Whiskey review. So we're gonna unbox this right here. And I, I, I gotta say, this is the best box we have had so far in this show. Oh really? Yeah. I've had this crazy one with like wrapping on the last one, and then. What they have before that. I saw that. That took. Me. <laughs> so I had to like fast forward it because <laughs> I was stupid. I was like, oh, what? And then like they had like this weird shit on the top. It's really hard to take off. What the fuck is this now? Can I just take this off. Don't don't be like Uncle Eric. So this is the box it comes in. Look at that shit. Wally takes care of me. My care. Oh fuck! Is that a cork? Always. So last one and Glenn Levitt, We also had a cork. So I feel like corks are an indication of a very spicy whiskey. Spicy whiskey. Here you are, sir. Oh, well, thank you, sir. All we need is some cigars. <clears throat> so, right off the bat, the color is a dark brown. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, almost copper. Is that a color? Yeah, it's penny. A penny is a copper. Yeah, but that's the type of metal. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Copper, it's it, copper. It's is, the color of pennies. It's a, a penny colored whiskey in this box. Oh, I'm not supposed to try it yet. What I'm smelling <coughs> is a uh, lime and orange rind. Uh, oh, please do tell. Sultanas and uh, dates give a rich, fruity flavor laced with uh, tantalizing spices of coconut. And I believe that's nutmeg. Oh, ah, yes, nutmeg. How did I not know this is nutmeg? Oh, oh, not the color of copper. It's <gasps> honey gold. Honey gold. That is actually a much better way to describe it. Yeah, other than fucking pennies. <laughs> <laughs> shall we? Ah, and we shall. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. This whiskey review. It's a little bit bitter. Yeah. You don't feel it in the throat at all, though. You don't. That's what I noticed, too. You don't like feel it in the mouth. Yeah, you feel it like in the mouth, kind of the top of the throat. You know, I would say that it tastes like ginger, nutmeg, toasted almonds. Mm -hmm. uh, it brings a deep, warming taste interwoven with a syrupy lemon meringue and honeycomb middle. Wow. I can be articulate when it comes to this. No, Eric, <laughs> if I were to describe the finish ah. on this whiskey, I would say that it's long, you know, it's lusciously sweet finish with lemon zest, white chocolate, vanilla, Ooh. and traces of ginger and nutmeg. Well, at least that's what the box is telling me it should. The box is always right. It has like, it's, it's yeah, spicy. It's, but right, it's all, it, it's just on in your mouth. You don't feel it one day. Yeah, once it like, crosses the throat area, you ain't gonna feel shit, dude. You're gonna drink this like a fucking gent, dude. And we're drinking this neat too. I mean, that is smooth. Smooth. The thing I would say is that if you're like me, where you drink 
you do enjoy scotch, you drink it, but you're not an everyday drinker, or you just, it's not all the time and it doesn't always go down the smoothest. You know how sometimes it takes a little bit? It takes a glass. Yeah, second, that's, that's what's the happening. The second glass goes down yeah. and that's the one you drink and you enjoy. You get this from the very first taste on it. I do the very first glass. I, I do concur with that statement. It's very nice. You're not biting it. And that's our whiskey review for today, folks. Little of it, I would definitely recommend as a beginner. And then this guy. Intricate and uh, detailed reviews in this show. Is it okay if I just like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just go ahead. No, fuck it. We'll do it. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to look, you know, professional for you guys, but sitting next to him, like, how much worse could he get at this point? <laughs> Salud. 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 for the Sass Boys. So, at this point, we're waiting for you to finish that. Um, we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it. What, what's the rating? I wanna go as high as an eight. Wait, what's a, what's a, have you had a 10? Have you ever given a 10? Oh, wow! Good. Good. <laughs> what's the highest you've ever given? Three beers. What? Three beers? How did you, you buy beers? No, I, 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 give, I give random reviews. Does it go up to five or it goes up to 10? Like, like right here, with this whiskey, neat, I'll give it. I would give it an eight. I would, I would give a. I would give Seven it a, and a, and a Jerry Seinfeld. too much maybe if you did the the splash of water you might be okay we should probably try that at some point but I think we're good. <laughs> but I think with it neat you get all the flavors the you're supposed neat. to get neat you get the very nice aspects of it like every nutmeg nutmeg dude and and, and white chocolate rich spicy and dessert like flavors y'all that's what you get and this makes it watery and shitty. Not rich, not that spicy and watery dessert. Don't do it on the rocks. This don't do it on the rocks. Now, if you're still walking into scotch, you're not, you know, you can't really just take it neat. Go ahead, put one cube or put a dash of water. One cube, but drink it fast because it's shitty. Leave, leave a comment and we should start a, we're starting a party. I don't give a fuck what they think. So we're going to start our podcast pretty soon. And as far as this video goes, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Uh, please, please share with your friends. Say, hey, buddy. Look at this. What? Have you ever tried Glenridge? No? Watch his review. They're going to test it. And with that, whiskey review. Whiskey review.